I don't mean to knock anyone here, but this whole match that's being talked about for CM Punk at AEW New Japan for Ben Door 2, I'm not buying it, and I don't think you should buy it either. So look, there's been a lot of speculation as to whether or not Punk is going to work for Ben Door, he's not going to work for Ben Door, who's he going to work, who's he not going to work, how are they doing it all in this video. We're going to talk about what we know so far, three names that have been discussed in regards to who Punk could work with, and much, much more. Now, two of these names are Samoa Joe and Jay White. There's also Chris Jericho, but that's on the AEW front. As to who he could work with at Forbidden Door, well, let's get into this report because I find it quite interesting, and I think this person also finds it interesting. Forbidden Door 2, the run it back between AEW and New Japan on June, what, 25th, 26th in Canada. Okay, you're going to have cross matches like Brian Danielson versus Okada and much, much more. And I really look forward to this show. Not so much the buildup. The buildup is lackluster, but in terms of the match quality, it's one of the best shows of the whole year. Anyways, with Punk, he is returning for the June 17th AEW Collision premiere from Chicago. As we already know, yes, he is going to be actually wrestling on that show. He's going to be working a trios match. He'll team up with FTR to take on Bullet Club, and it'll be fun. And now this show takes one week prior to Forbidden Door. So the question is, and I stand by this, I think they should have saved Punk's in-ring return for either the following week's collision or Forbidden Door, but they're not. Fightful Select reports, courtesy of Sean Ross Sapp, that Kenta is a name being considered to be Punk's opponent at the show. Which is interesting considering that uh, a few days before this report came out, Kenna responded to a fan on Twitter noting that if Tony Khan wants to book the match, give him the bag. When this report came out, Kenta responded, give me the bag. He said that despite the bad blood between him and Punk, and really it's one-sided because of course Punk, he stole the GTS from Kenta when he went to WB as Kenta was over in New Japan at the time or Japan, that there's been some bad blood, but he feels like if it's, if he's not paid accordingly, he just simply doesn't want the match. I don't understand why they would do this. Like, why? Of all the matches that you could do for Punk with New Japan guys, why Kenta? Like, I get that he's the New Japan strong champion, and he's a really, really good wrestler. I get all that. I just don't think the excitement is there. And more importantly, I don't know if many people actually give a, a flying F about whether or not Punk gave Kenta credit for the GTS enough. And he has. He's openly, publicly, multiple times given Kenta credit for this. I just don't think it's warranted. I think it's kind of a lackluster match uh, on paper. Now, it could be a really good match, but... I just don't know if the heat is there enough for people to actually care.